द क्वेश्चन इज द ऑर्डर ऑफ इनक्रीजिंग पोलैरिटी इन एस सी एल सी ओ टू एच टू ओ एंड एच एफ मालिक्यूल इज हाउ वी कैन डिटर्मिन द पोलैरिटी ऑर्डर ओके वन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू पोलैरिटी यूज डाइपोल मोमेंट ओके हायर द डाइपोल मोमेंट हायर इज द पोलैरिटी ओके एंड रिगार्डिंग डाइपोल मोमेंट वी हैव लर्न डाइपोल मोमेंट इज डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्टिविटी हायर इज द इलेक्ट्रॉन एक्टिविटी ऑफ द एलिमेंट हायर इज द डाइपोल मोमेंट एंड डाइपोल मोमेंट इज ऑल्सो डायरेक्टली प्रोपोर्शनल टू लोन पेयर हायर द नंबर ऑफ लोन पेयर हायर इज द डाइपोल मोमेंट वी कैन से लोन पेयर ऑल्सो ओके एंड वन मोर थिंग डाइपोल मोमेंट इज इनवर्सली प्रोपोर्शनल टू बॉन्ड एंगल वी हैव बॉन्ड एंगल ए बॉन्ड एंगल इंक्रीजेज डाइपोल मोमेंट डिक्रीजेज ओके ए बॉन्ड एंगल इंक्रीजेज डाइपोल मोमेंट डिक्रीजेज एंड वन डाइपोल मोमेंट डिक्रीजेज पोलार्टी ऑफ द मालिक्यूल ऑल्सो डिक्रीजेज ओके For any molecule in which dipole moment is zero, that molecule will be non-polar by nature. Okay, keep in mind. Okay, if dipole moment value is zero, it will be non-polar by nature. And if it is non-zero, then definitely it will be polar by nature. Then we can see we have the compound HCl is there. HCl. Okay, hydrogen-related three compounds are there. We have HF, H2O. and we have hcl is there and one more compound this is a molecule we have co2 is there co2 okay carbon dioxide is there in this case uh, if we draw the structure and find out the geometry so carbon in general how many bonds it is forming four bond how many sigma bond are there in this case we get two sigma bond because sigma it is pi and it is sigma it is pi is there two sigma bond Hybridization will be sp, and if hybridization is sp, the geometry will be what? Linear. And for the linear molecule, when these two substituents are same only, then linear molecule same linear shape is there. In this case, dipole moment will be zero. This is non-polar by nature. It does not have any polarity. Very clear. Least polarity. There is no polarity also. Okay. Means it is non-polar by nature. non polar by nature because it is having linear shape dipole moment is zero okay so now you can see next we have these three molecules are there and how we determine which one is highly polar so i just said you know dipole moment is directly proportional to electron activity okay so you can see central element is fluorine central element is oxygen central element is what chlorine is there so check the electron activity we have fluorine and it is chlorine and this is oxygen it is sulfur is there this is nitrogen it is phosphorus is there it is present in the second period it is present in the third period okay fluorine is the most electronegative element in the periodic table okay so higher the electron activity higher the tendency to pull the electron as the charge increases polarity also increases okay that's why dipole moment directly proportional to electron activity so hf out of these three is highly polar by nature because most electron negative element is there fluorine these two are there okay so smaller the size higher is the electron negativity because electron negativity is directly proportional to nuclear charge higher the nuclear charge higher is the electron negativity So you can see oxygen is present in the second period and chlorine is present in the third period means chlorine is having larger size than oxygen and electron activity is inversely proportional to size as the size increases electron activity decreases then oxygen is more electron negative than chlorine okay since oxygen is more electron negative than chlorine then oxygen present in this molecule it will be more polar by nature because oxygen is more electron negative than chlorine based on the electron negativity we are determining the polarity <coughs> so first we have as of highly polar by nature then we have h2o and in the last we have hcl is there okay the least polar we get co2 it is non polar by nature <coughs> after this we have hcl after this we have h2o and in highly polar that is hf is there this is the order we are getting co2 hcl h2 and hf you can see in the first option we are having these molecules okay so always keep in mind you know by using the vesper theory also we determine the dipole moment and dipole moment is used to determine the ionic character in covalent compound okay polarity 
It is used to determine whether the molecule is polar or nonpolar by nature. If you like this video, please share and subscribe to the channel.